Okay. Try and sneak up on two bass that are on the bed here. Are the crappies still around? Yep, there it is. If you guys can't see, I'll poke it. There it is. Nice little crappie. I caught him already. <laughs> Yep, and I see his tail. That bass is right there. Sometimes I'll just stand right over the bass if it can't see me and just vertical jig it right on his head, right in front of it. And you see, it produces. He's mad. It gets him angry enough. As you can see, he can't see me yet. And oh no! No! That did not just happen. That did not just happen. No. You've got to be kidding me. Is the second one still in there? No. Man. That guy's not biting for a long time now. He was pretty too. That sucks. Oh, whatever. Oh no, he's mad. He can see it. He still saw it. Oh wow. I'm surprised. He still wants it. Can't believe he didn't get hooked. He did, I guess. I, I just didn't really have the right leverage to hook him good enough. Okay. Hopefully I can piss him off. Yeah, he doesn't want to have anything to do with it. Hold on, come here. What if I bump you? Yeah, that guy's not gonna bite anymore. Looks like I pissed him off. I'm trying to get this crappie. <laughs> Not like me being there. Ooh, that was a bad cast. You guys are wondering what I'm using. I'm using a seven foot. Is this a seven? Yeah, seven foot, medium heavy. I'm using a Gander Guide series due to the fact that I really, I really like the way that they are, and I have two of these, and um, they're an IM8 graphite, so it's it's pretty strong rod, and I'm using it paired up with a Daiwa Tatula, but I'm actually gonna switch this rod out for a Saint Croix Mojo Bass rod because. <clears throat> I don't know, I just like St. Croix so much more. And it's a lot more sensitive and lightweight.
but usually when you're bed fishing it matters what you're using but like because I like to bed fish a lot with like jigs and I like using Texas rigged and stuff I'll either go medium or medium heavy action with it this time I'm using the medium heavy A lot of times I'll be using medium. I'm, I, I feel like I use medium more than I use medium heavy. Can you be pissed off a little bit more? Oh, yeah you can. Yeah you can. You are still into it. He just keeps running away. Oh, there's a second one. Okay. That's why. Might not be the same fish. Gotcha. Yeah, I told you I'd get you again. <clears throat> get back here. Ow. Oh man, it's got looks like it's recovering from like a scar or something. Yep, I've caught this fish before. I remember this little mark that he's had right here. Ow. Man, that troll car hook though. Just busts right through him. Another pounder. Probably pound and a half. Like last time. Check for another hook mark. Back to your bed you go. And stay. That proves that when you release a fish, it'll still feed. And they're still able to protect their bed. So. And please follow my, uh, me and my friends on Instagram. At don't touch, don't underscore touch, underscore my, underscore junk. Because we would really like to get more popular. And we need to grow a little bit. And we also we also do like reviews, not just fishing videos. We do mystery tackle box. Okay, he saw me, so I'm just gonna back up away from him real quick. Still no reaction to it. Mmm, she took it that time. Got her again. Now. It's 
stop. Yeah, no, I caught her last time. I see the hook mark. Ow. That spot where I hooked her last time swelled up like crazy. It's a nice fish though. Yeah, this is the male. You can see it's a male. Just gotta wait on her. On him, I guess. Ow! Just tearing up my fingers. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Shh. Nice bass I just got. He was betting and he took that Senko all the way down. My friend's going to go get pliers right now to get him, to get him out and get him going. Nice bass. Okay, there's a fish right there. Got him. Whatever that was, that was not a bass. What was that? But it sure did smack it. Got one. Way out there too. Oh, come on. Get over here. It's a little guy. Oh, what's on him? Oh. Rainbow Trout Senko. Fish number three. Oh, it's just some. This is a little guy, probably about a pound, a pound and a quarter. Got chomped on by something in the tail. And get him going. Nice little guy. <clears throat> it's a really cool Senko, I'm liking it so far. It's producing a lot of fish. Guys, I've seen a lot of people when they fish Senkos, they'll just throw it in all the way down to where they think that there's going to be a fish laying and they'll let it sink once, twice, maybe a third time and then just just reel it out and re-throw. 
work it all the way down to the end. Work it right all the way down to the shore because most of the time the fish aren't even going to be all the way out there. They might just be laying right in the shore waiting in ambush, especially if you're fishing um, spots with cover like this. Like there's a bunch of like this algae stuff right here, pads over there. And there might be just fish sitting right on the outer, outer edge, like these reeds right here. Just don't be afraid to work it all the way in just when you're about to hit that part of the cover and you're no, you know that your bait can't sink there unless you're using some kind of weedless rig um then just reel it up over it but work all the way to where you can't work it up to anymore you're gonna catch a lot more fish that way Okay, let's move over to the next spot. And a really good method for when you're shore fishing as well is fan casting. So basically you're going to cast all the way to your right and then just work your way left little by little until you're all the way down to the left side. Okay, I just found the fish on a bed. I'm trying to catch him real quick. Looks like he's aggressive. Oh, yep, he's aggressive. Got him. He's real aggressive. Oh man, he choked that thing down. This guy's about a pound and a half as well. I don't even feel like there's a need to weigh him. Dang, as soon as, as soon as he saw that bait, he was on it. Ow! Stop! Get your mouth open. Yeah, it's about a pound and a half. See the only one on that bed? Right there. He went, didn't he? Yeah, there he is. Hey guys, so if you're watching this, that means you finished watching my latest video. Um, I just wanted to explain what BTMJ Productions is. So basically, it's me, um, my name is Dennis, and three other friends. Uh, their names are Jason, Max, and Thomas. And what we do is we just go around fishing for fun. Uh... We do a lot of bass fishing. Sometimes we might put up some salmon videos, maybe. Um, I do a lot of steelhead fishing as well, so let me know if you guys want to see some of that. We do fly fishing, uh, fly tying, so if you guys need to learn how to do any kind of flies or something like that, uh, just let us know. We'll we'll do some kind of video for you guys to check that out. Um, we also do... Mystery Tackle Box unboxings. We'll probably do some Mystery Tackle Box slams or attempt at doing them in the future. Um, we do lure reviews, tackle reviews, rod reviews, reel reviews, all this, all that stuff. Um, <clears throat> as well as just to videotaping fish underwater. We do, we do like everything. So if just let us know what you want to see like in the upcoming future but we're planning on just making a, a lot of videos all our videos are shot with gopro heroes uh gopro hero threes um we don't have the four yet we, i might get it personally um and i'll fill you guys in on anything you guys need to know about us just check us out uh follow us on instagram i might put up like a little ad um a little ad like a link to our instagram or Actually, I'll just put up the name in our in our bio. Um, we also do a lot of um, 
we're gonna do like unboxings of our like shipments like from Tackle Warehouse, uh, uh, Bass Pro Shop. Sometimes we'll order off there, but mostly we do like Tackle Warehouse and stuff. We actually shop locally a lot at um this one place, uh, Limit Out Marine by our by our house. So. Um, we all kind of live close together. We fish the same lakes. We fish off boat as well. Don't don't get us wrong that I'm fishing on a pond right now. Right now, I just fish by a pond by my house. Um, 